Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to sneeze because apparently I'm allergic to making videos about input issues. <laughs> but I'm not going to re-record this, I'm just going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. On camera and keep going. Power through, baby. Look, I'm going to start off this video by saying this is not true for everybody. I play on a iPhone 13 Pro and even though I qualify for the new phone and it's been a couple years now since I got a new phone, I'm not really tempted to upgrade because I like my phone. There's nothing wrong with it. And I have not experienced any of the issues that I'm going to address from others. So I have no doubt that Kabam is trying their best when they can to help input issues. I don't think, like some people have speculated, that they've just ignored the problem altogether. But I am not an Android user. And I do believe that iPhones are easier to play this game at times than Android phones. Even like the new Samsung Galaxy phones at times. I know this because you all who have played on those phones have contacted me saying, Prof, this game is unplayable for me and I'm on a new phone. The traditional th thought process behind why you can't play this game is that your phone's just too old. Maybe you're on an iPhone 7. Maybe you're on a 5-year-old Android phone. And Kabam has been very honest about the fact that eventually the software on those phones will not be compatible with the new versions of this game. And maybe it already isn't. And maybe, just maybe the speed of the processor of which the game needs your phone to work is not gonna be compatible with your device. So there are a couple of different issues within this one video topic. One is just old phones that quite frankly, it's like trying to play, this is a really old analogy for those of you who aren't 35, like trying to play a, an Xbox game on a PlayStation, like OG PlayStation like trying to play a uh, Switch game on a Nintendo 64, you're not going to have the hard drive and the memory and the processing speeds necessary to keep up. And because of that, the game is going to slow down and it's going to glitch and it's going to lag. And uh, the only things that have been lagging lately for me, and I don't know why this is the case, and maybe it's just me, but the Relic Crystals have been in like slow motion when I've tried to open them. And that's been very frustrating and quite frankly, very fascinating. But um, that's kind of where uh, where that has, has ended. By the way, it's worth noting that um, I'm just going to pop two Relic Crystals during this conversation because I've never done that. And uh, I can never tell from, <laughs> from the way that these come out what's new and what's a dupe. Because to me, both those look like dupes. Is it just me? Am I going crazy for thinking that? Let's hit convert. Okay, Wolverine was awakened. And uh, I guess the new was Valkyrie, though I didn't exactly show it. It's also worth noting that uh, as I continue to discuss the input issues that I find that Kabam makes, it, makes relics to where the best relics are partnered with the champion that essentially is who they were made for. Like, Valkyrie probably needs a relic that matches the most with Valkyrie. But also, I use Hitmonkey and Crossbones and Kate Bishop and Aegon and even Blade and Masakre more. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll uh, come back to it. Anyhow, back to the topic at hand. We have, in this community... A separation depending on, quite frankly, and I don't think this is unique to this community, uh, poverty levels and income, devices that work or don't work. But it does trouble me when people get new devices, especially if they're Android devices, and they're complaining that they work worse than the old device that they used. The only reason why I say iPhones typically can work better, new ones, than new Android phones, and that's not always true, is that I've known people who've switched and say the game is so much smoother on their new iPhone. That's not trying to throw shade at Android devices. They have a lot of pros that quite honestly iPhones don't have. And some of the really unique things that always make me tempted to switch because I'm a journalism professor is the camera. The video quality and the photography quality of some of these new phones I think are better than iPhones. And iPhones, the joke is um, that like Google phones, for example, will come out with this incredible new technology and then iPhones will copy them and then claim that it's a first. And it's like, well, if you've been paying attention to the tech world, it's not a first. It just happens to be the first on an iPhone. But it doesn't mean it's the first on a phone. But I digress. 
The bottom line is inputs are still broken for quite a few people. And when I hear about people who no longer want to spend on the game, it's because they look at this and they say, why should I spend on a game that is still broken for me? And I don't feel the same way for my particular circumstance because it's not broken right now for me. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't still make a video talking about how it's broken for others. And how when people even put forum posts on or help tickets, they get essentially silenced. And that's the biggest takeaway from this video is I'm worried the input issue users are being silenced because Kabam said mission accomplished. They don't want to return to this issue. They don't want compensation. There used to be months and months and months where every week we get compensation and it was great compensation for Alliance Quest and Alliance War potions and revives at the beginning there was even glory attached to it and we got very spoiled on that because then when it stopped it's like man i miss it but they did try at least with the war issue to bring back for one loyalty the the new war system for team revives which i think is incredible but in the meantime this is a video to say have you seen input issues more than ever or like me no i mean there's no right answer in this i just want you to be honest in the comments so Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And for those of you who have been waiting weeks for me to cover this, I'm sorry it took so long, but hey, I finally did.